Happy holidays. Hi, I'm Lou Manfredini, ACES Home Expert. And in today's video, we're going to show you how to hang holiday lights on a Christmas tree. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, so for this project, I'm going to be using LED holiday lights. For me, they're the most durable and easiest to use. And they use less electricity, and you can plug more of them together without risk of blowing a fuse. You can use these either indoors or out. Now, you do want to consider the size of the tree when you're purchasing your lights. It's always a good idea to buy a couple extra boxes. You'll see on the box it'll talk about the number of lights and then the length of the actual cord. And so for this tree, we're probably gonna need either two or three boxes of lights so we get that extra special twinkle. Okay, now there's a lot of debate when it comes to hanging lights on a tree. Do you start at the bottom or the top? For me, you start at the top and you work your way down because if you end up with extra lights at the bottom because maybe you needed a half of a string more, you can always cover the excess lights with uh, a piece of fabric so that the tree looks great. But here's another thing you have to consider. Remember, you can plug these things in one after another. So the female end of the strand of light is what you want to start with at the top of the tree because you want to have the male end of the plug at the bottom where then eventually you could plug into a power strip or into a wall or even a timer. Okay, so I have a physical advantage because I'm a tall person. If you are not as tall as me, depending on the height of your tree, you may need a step stool or even a small step ladder to do the high stuff. But you want to start at the top with the lights, and I'm going to do this unplugged. And one of the things that is key is you kind of work your way around the tree is I don't just go straight across. I kind of uh, go up and down. This is an artificial tree, and so you can bend some of the... Uh, you know, the little branches on there to kind of hold the lights. And what's kind of a, a trick in all this is that as you move yourself around, once we get done with that first strand, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in so I can see if I've got enough coverage because it's easier to adjust the lights one strand at a time than having all of them plugged in and then realizing that, oh, I wish I had a little bit more space up here because you wanna have it nice and full. Now this of course is a matter of personal preference. For me, I want to have it nice and twinkly and lit and looking really nice. So work your way around the tree carefully and you see how it's an advantage to pull the tree away from the corner where it's going to sit. When you slide it back in, it'll all look great and you'll keep this outside here like this even when you go to do the decorating because it'll make your life just so much easier. And if you want, depending Again, on how many lights you want, you could tuck the lights into the tree, more into the core and back out again. It really is a matter of personal preference. Now that I have it there, I'm gonna go ahead and just plug in an extension cord and see how it looks so far. Okay, so we're just gonna plug this in and take a look and see. Uh, these LED lights are warm white light, which you can see look really nice. And you can do a little positioning now with the lights moving the artificial strands around there to kind of get it going. Now, if you're gonna do some sort of topper on there, you don't wanna have the lights go all the way up there, but so far that spacing looks pretty good to me. Now I'm gonna unplug it and I'm gonna open up another round of lights and work my way around. Remember, as the tree gets wider at the bottom, the, the string of lights doesn't go as far, right? Because it has to spread around there. So you'd be surprised at how quickly the next set of lights kind of gets absorbed and you may need that third string, but let's see what happens. Now, a lot of these uh, labels and stuff that are on these are there for your safety. In theory, you could take them off or you can just try and hide them inside the tree. I'd kind of be more of an advocate to hide them because your safety is most important. So now we're just gonna continue with the uh, lighting going around there, kind of getting that same spacing that we're going for that we had before. And it's the kind of thing you get a feel for as you move it around, if you're gonna be able to get just two of these on there. Now this is up on a pedestal, but this is about a six foot Christmas tree. And the lighting strings that I'm using here are about, 50 lights, and it appears that I'm gonna make it 
with just two strands, which is great because now it's working out perfectly that the end of the lighting right here where I'm going to plug it in is ending up at the back of the tree. It's like I knew what I was doing. There you have it. Take your time, do a little zhuzhing, make sure that those lights are in the right spot, and now you're ready to decorate. If you need more tips or advice, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit us at acehardware.com or stop by your local Ace Hardware store because Ace is the holiday place.